everybody, welcome back to Raph Roman Reviews. I just finished watching The Predator. Uh, so I'm gonna give a little bit of backstory. This is technically the fourth uh, installment to, that, that's a direct sequel or reboot, however you really wanna call it. Because they don't really, you're not really supposed to count the AVP films. Um, but the, this one is the fourth installment of The Predator uh, storyline. Um, it is directed by Shane Black, which is most famously known for Iron Man 3, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, uh, Nice Guys. So he's got a fairly decent uh, resume, and it's also uh, written by Fred Decker as well as Shane Black. And Decker was pretty big in the 80s. Um, he uh, did Night of the Creeps and also did Monster Squad as well, which is a personal favorite of mine, uh, as well as Night of the Creeps. Uh, so. And they align themselves with an all-star cast, really. I mean, it's a... Eh, I wouldn't say go too far to say all-star, but it's a really impressive cast, right? I mean, Sterling K. Brown, Tom, uh, 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 Michael Keegan, I mean, there's a... Olivia Munn, there's a ton of people here that are very uh, recognizable, and they're all come together for this film. So let's get started. So I'm going to keep the spoilers to a minimum uh, on this one. Uh, the movie... I, I, again, I, if you've seen my uh, reviews in the past, you know, I, I tend to only watch one uh, trailer for the film to keep uh, spoilers as minimal as possible. Uh, so, uh, so based on what you saw in, the, in, in one of the trailers, there is a Predator and there's a very big Predator, which we are going to refer to as Brock Lesnar Predator. And the reason I say that is because if there's any WWE fans out there like myself, Anytime Brock Lesnar shows up, you know somebody's gonna get their ass kicked. It's that simple. So, keep that in mind when you watch this movie. Uh, so, the movie starts off and it just kind of drops you right in the middle of the action. Um, there's two ships and they seem to be fighting each other. They don't really give you much there because, you know, the Predators speak their own language. So, all we see is our very uh, basic uh, predator that we've always seen and then we have this other huge predator which seems to be following the other predator. Brock Lesnar is following the predator. So, and they end up on Earth and that's kind of where the movie picks off right there. And hygiene sings Sue, we get our cast of characters are introduced, everybody's kind of grabbed right away and thrown into the action and the movie goes from there. Now, I'm gonna say this. I think that the characters of this film are really the heart of it. I mean, th this is what makes this movie enjoyable, is the characters. The characters, I like them. I like every character in this, in this film, even the, one, even the ones that were jerks. Uh, Sterling K. Brown uh, is sort of the bad guy in this movie. Um, and he's great. I mean, the, he's really great. I, I, I wish they would cast him in more stuff. He, you keep seeing him pop up now, so that's great. So just keep giving this guy work. He's, he's, he's really good. Uh, and then the movie goes into I don't care mode anymore. <laughs> it is it's one of the most insane things I've seen in a while. Um, it it's it they stop they they legit stop caring at some point. The filmmakers behind this, you know, Shane Black and Fred Decker said, you know what, just do it. And, <laughs> and they do. I, it's like, a, it's this weird 80s insane mashup thing that's happening the whole time. And it, nothing makes sense. Um, that's kind of what the movie is. I mean, yeah, it's rated R and there's language and there's, uh, there's some gore in it as well. There's a lot of killing in this movie. I mean, it has by far the largest headcount of any Predator movie. I think you could combine the previous three Predator movies headcount, put it together, and you do not get the headcount that this movie gives you. It is that bloody and insane. But story-wise, it doesn't make sense. It is, it is, it is, it, it, it just, it does not make sense. Nothing, uh... Nothing here follows a cohesive thought. I mean, so, okay, so you remember, so if you've ever seen 80s movies, right? You know, in the 80s movie, they have this, this, this weird 
thing that they used to do back then whenever one of the main characters was about to get off and sort of somehow somewhere somebody pops in to save them right and usually back then that would only happen once maybe twice in the movie right not in this movie in this movie it is done regularly and it gets frustrating after a point where you're like that how did that just happen I don't understand how did that no no movie bad movie you don't do that bad bad movie okay Shane Black you're better than that stop that stop it right now all in all guys I mean it, it, it's an insane ride it, it, it and it's not in in a good way again the characters are really what kept me going throughout the film is that Okay, the characters are, are enjoyable to watch. Why, you know, watching them interact with each other. Olivia Munn is replaceable, to be quite honest. Um, she doesn't really do anything great in this movie. She's just kind of there. I don't know why exactly. So, um, but everybody else has great roles. Uh, you know, um, but again, I don't understand <laughs> half of what's going on in this movie and the ending. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on with that ending. I, it's in, I, oh, wow. It was just, it, it's, it's a crazy movie and it's not a crazy movie in a good way. It's a crazy movie. Just, I, I, I somebody lost a bet. I don't know. Um, or Shane Black just said, you know what? I'm going to do the craziest movie I have done to date. And if that was the case, he accomplished it because this movie is legit insane. And if you look at his resume, he's got a great resume. Nice guys, kiss, kiss, bang, bang. You know, Iron Man 3 is the least, uh, is my least favorite movie of his. And it's not a very good movie, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but it has some moments in it that were pretty good. This one is not the case. I don't understand what was going on here half the time. Um, but that's where we are. So, I'm going to give you my rating for The Predator. And I'm gonna hate myself for this one, but uh, you know, maybe over time it gains some following, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I just really don't see myself watching this movie uh, multiple times like I've seen the previous Predator movies. Uh, so I'm gonna give this movie a D. It had a lot of potential, uh, great writers, great directors, a great cast, and it just went off the rails. So. That is my rating for The Predator. <sighs> I really hope that they don't try and make a sequel to this. I really, really do. Well, sorry guys. Anyways, as usual, thank you for watching and don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe.